Hey everybody, today is May 24th. Um, I haven't made a video in a, in a pretty long time. Uh, it, if any of you have watched any of my previous videos, at least the last couple ones, that though you'll know that my mom passed away. And uh, I was making a video every day from December 1st of last year up till March 24th of this year. And then March 25th, my mom passed away. And um, <clears throat> since that time, it, it was a pretty tough thing. It was very unexpected. And, and uh, since that time, I, uh, I made maybe two or three videos. And uh, that's about it. And um, so I just needed to take a break. After my last video that I made, I listened to it and I felt like there was a lot of hurt and a lot of pain coming through. I felt like there was uh, hurt and pain that was influencing my words that I was speaking on that video. And uh, when I'm making a video and I'm talking, I, I, the only reason I make these videos is to give God glory, to talk about God, and to, to uh, encourage people to go after God, to believe in God, to trust in God more. And so, if I if there's anything that is going to influence these videos that I'm making or or influence my words, I want it to be the Holy Spirit. If anything's going to influence my words when I'm making these videos, I want it to be the Holy Spirit. I don't want it to be pain or or hurt or or grief or any of that other stuff um, that I was that I felt like was influencing my video before because of um, losing my mom and and whatnot so so it's been it's been a, a, a it's been a journey I guess of um, trying to get settled again when something crazy like that when something major like losing a parent or a relative or a loved one happens when something like that happens it it's I've never really experienced anything like like what I just experienced and it's it's like a, it, it, it's like a giant dust cloud just swarms up. Like imagine a helicopter taking off in the desert with sand going everywhere. It's just, it just something happens and poof. Before you know it, there. Next thing you know, it's just it's fog and it's confusion. It's hard to think. It's hard to process stuff. Emotions are everywhere. You know, you can't. It's hard to control your thoughts because you're just. It's just. It's just crazy. It's just crazy when you lose a loved one, and it takes time to to process stuff and to uh, get grounded again, and to and to let your emotions settle down, and to get to the place where you can think clearly and articulate yourself, and, and be able to just speak off the cuff. Like when I make these videos, I don't plan what I'm going to say. I just feel like there's something on my heart to say, and I start talking. And that's why I need my heart to be right with God. I need my heart to be clean and need to be pure and need it to be, uh, I need the stuff, I need to be able to reflect whatever the Holy Spirit's putting on my heart to talk about. And it doesn't need to be full of pain and, and all that stuff. But I just dropped my daughter off for um, um, a Bible study tonight. And then there was this, this is why I want to make a video because I have a cool testimony. And it, nothing's really happened like this to me in quite a long time. And uh, so there was this guy in the neighborhood where I dropped my daughter off. And he was knocking on this door. And I knew that the house stuff that he was knocking on, nobody was there. Nobody was home. And um, and I, I said, uh, hey, nobody's home. I, you know, I, I, I had to get down to the car because I was going to help my daughter with some stuff. I said, hey, uh, there's nobody home here. And he said, because uh, I, I knew that they were, I knew the per the people who, that they weren't there. And, and he's like, oh, uh, okay, yeah, and, and whatever. I said, can I help you with anything? And he was like, yeah, I, I was just, um, I was going to ask the people who live there. He goes, I was just going to ask so-and-so for prayer. He goes, uh, they prayed for me one other time, and uh, I really felt the love of God. And he, he prayed a beautiful prayer. And I was like, well, hey, I, I can pray for you. <laughs> I, I love praying for people. And... Anyway, one thing led to another. I gotta cut this video short, but um, I'm almost home. But he told me some stuff and some things he needed healing for, and he was in a lot of pain. 
and uh, he was really worried, really a lot of anxiety on him and and, and pain. And I just, let me pray for him. Pray for him. And as soon as I touched him and I went to pray for him, the Holy Spirit wouldn't really. I didn't feel any peace to go forward until I led him in a prayer to receive the Holy Spirit. And I, I didn't want to just pray for him to receive it, but I, I believe that there's biblical basis where if you want the Holy Spirit, you got to ask for the Holy Spirit. I mean, I, I didn't want to just pray for him. I wanted him to ask for it. But he didn't, I don't know if he knew how to ask for it like, like that. So I just said, let me just pray after me. And he said, okay. And I prayed and I led him in a prayer to receive the Holy Spirit. And it was amazing. And then I prayed for him. Whatever the Lord put on my heart for healing, all kinds of stuff. And I prayed for his brother, and I prayed for stuff for that and deliverance. All, it was amazing the things that were happening, and um, and he was he was flabbergasted because he couldn't believe that I'm praying for things that things that need that. I was praying for things for breakthroughs and stuff that he actually needed. Yet he didn't share with me that need and things that his brother needs. Yet he didn't share with me about his brother needing this stuff. And I, and I was telling him, man, that's the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. Talk, God's talking to me. Tell me what to pray for you guys, for you and your brother. And uh, and he was like, man. I was like, that's how you know it's going to get answered. Because if God tells you what to pray, He's He's he has a purpose for it because he's going to answer this prayer. And and then I was like, all right. I said, where are you hurting, man? I, I said, you. And he, he's lucky. He's like, he's like I, I don't hurt. He goes, I, I don't hurt. And I said, well, hold on, hold on. Let me pray for this area right here. I said, I feel like something's happening. He's like, how did you know that? I'm like, and I put my hand on his back. And he didn't tell me nothing about his back. I started praying for his back and and because he's having issues with that. And he's like, I was only talking about life-threatening stuff. I was like, well, God wants to heal you in, in every area of your life, everything. I mean, every part of your body, not just life-threatening. And um, it was amazing because the Holy Spirit was moving. The power of God was moving. Word of knowledge was moving. And... You know, I hadn't experienced the Holy Spirit in a long time. I haven't experienced God's presence in a long time. And I realized that in order to experience God's presence, you, sometimes you need to put yourself in the in the place to need God's presence. And sometimes, and in, in order to experience the Holy Spirit and the move of the Spirit, you got to put yourself in a place to need the Holy Spirit move. And and I I needed I I needed the Holy Spirit to move there because I, I, that guy needed healing. And I was just the point of contact for the Holy Spirit to come down to work, to move. And I needed the presence of God to show up. I need this guy to be delivered from anxiety and to be his heart to be healed and all kinds of stuff. Um, so it was great. It was really, really cool. Uh, I was just glad to be there at that moment at, and, and for the Lord to allow me to, to come across this guy's path. And... Um, that's cool. I've been praying that God would open my eyes to see opportunity. Just like when Elisha prayed for his servant who went up out of the castle or out of the city onto the wall and he looked around and he seen there were chariots of, there were the, the, I think it was the Assyrian army was surrounding the city because they had come to get Elisha. And he was, the servant was scared. He went down and he took, woke Elijah up and said, hey, come up and see, you know, what's going on. And he said, Elisha said, don't worry, greater that be with us than they that be with them. And then Elisha prayed and he said, Lord, open his eyes that he may see. And then when the servant went up and looked and he seen all the hills around about were surrounded with chariots of fire and angels. Right. And and. Um, so. I've been praying like if, if God can op if God will open the servant's eyes to see the glory of the Lord all around him. And to see his salvation, I said, Lord, open my eyes so that I can see opportunities to to let your light, to let the glory of God be established here on earth, to see the kingdom of heaven destroyed. Open my eyes to see opportunities, even for employment, for to for business opportunities, for ways to grow the kingdom of God, not only spiritually, but financially, emotionally. And, and you know, just let me open my eyes to 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 see anything and everything around me that I can take advantage of that opportunity to bless people, to to become a, a conduit of healing, a word of knowledge, a word of wisdom, and and also for for financial opportunity as well to um, to help support my family and the kingdom of heaven. So 
anyway, that, that's, that's it. That's what's on my heart. I just, uh, I hope everybody's doing well. It's been a long time since I've made a video. I'm, I'm feeling good. And um, I like to get back into making videos again, maybe every day again. And uh, just get into that place where I'm, I'm hearing from God and, and making and just talking about whatever the Lord, the Lord puts on my heart. And I'm looking forward to having um, a lot more divine appointments and uh, opportunities to pray for people. Yeah, so we'll see what the Lord has in store. All right, everybody. God bless. See you.